I mean, we came back to this country a couple weeks ago, but this feels like coming home, coming home to Oakland, coming home to this. This is amazing, you guys. This is really amazing to come back and see our country coming back to life and see this city coming to life like this is really, really a wonderful homecoming. Um, I wanted to, to mention uh, one person that is very important to us um, who has not been able to celebrate uh, our freedom like we have. This person, is uh, his name is uh, Mr. Masood Shafi. He uh, was our lawyer in Iran and he, for 26 months, he tried to defend us courageously and skillfully as best as he could within Iranian law and uh, he had a very difficult time and now that our case is over we've been released and sent home he is not able to celebrate he's he's been living under the fear of perse prosecution persecution uh, since we've been freed he was arrested uh, he's he tried to leave the country to come here to see his family and he wasn't able to his passport was taken um, He's constantly under the threat of being put in prison, and uh, you know we we stand behind him. I just wanted to say that and just uh, say that that we're thinking about him and that we love him. Another thing that 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 we learned when we got out is that there here in California there have been thousands of people on hunger strike in prison. Um, you know nobody nobody can come out of prison, especially come out of situation of isolation, solitary confinement, and not feel for other people in that situation. From Pelican Bay, uh, thousands of people went on hunger strike, and it spread throughout California. This is incredible, you guys. This is really incredible. Um, these people are, change, are, are struggling, like we had to struggle in Iran, for change in their conditions. You know, we lived through solitary confinement. This is psychological torture. And, and they're, they're living through that, and they're struggling to change that. Every day, there's at least 20,000 people in this country that are in solitary confinement. I can't tell you guys, uh, standing here right now, what it means to be in solitary confinement. It's hell, and no person should have to live, live that. You know, uh, inside prison, uh, we, a lot of people here, like I said before, were supporting us and were fighting for our freedom, and we felt that, and it, it really is what made me get through every day. And I know that the people in prison in California now are feeling that. You know, if, if people here are supporting them, they're gonna feel it, and I really wanna commend this camp for, uh, for passing a resolution yesterday in the General Assembly uh, in support of the hunger strikers in, in California. Yeah.